What's up, everybody in TTC? Gun and Armor here. Great game last night. Uh, not the prettiest game, but it was a good game to watch. If you like defense, then you would have liked that game. That's why I like watching SEC basketball over any other, really, conference basketball. You, t you tend to see more defense, more physical stuff. I don't know. I guess that's just how I am. Maybe these... Well, I guess in basketball, you need a... It doesn't really matter if you got a good defense if some guy can shoot five feet behind the three line like we had in Downey. Told us how we beat Kentucky two years ago. But yeah, more physical game. A uh, great game to watch. Um, Carolina pulls it out 56 to 54. I said it was going to be close. Um, I'm surprised I was the only South Carolina video maker to make a video with all the Alabama makers on this thing. But, oh well. Uh, let's see here. Let's talk about some of the upsides and downsides that I saw in this game. Upside is we played physical the entire game. We got in their face whenever they tried to go in for the easy two. They were constantly in their face, bumping them, shoving them, hands in the air. That's what I wanted to see. I mean, I was watching the um, Auburn, or I re uh, Rewatched the Auburn game, and we just sat there. Second half, whenever they would go in for a um, two or a dunk, they would just sit there. They would maybe put their arms up, but then once they got shoved back, they would like fall back. And then, but in this game, no. Um, I did not like that we were putting up random threes all the time. I mean, I understand you can go for big points, but sometimes just passing around a little bit. Waiting for an open lane, that's and getting two easy ones, that's fine. These oh, these like random threes over and over again. You Alabama gave us. We should have won this damn game without any uh, chances. Alabama gave us toss up a three, rebound back three, rebound back, repeat. Um, penalties penalties were big in this game. We had ten. Alabama had fourteen. So we were constantly getting the ball back. I remember one time we got the ball back like three times in a row and scored zero points out of it. <laughs> I remember when Gill was trying to go up for a layup, he got blocked three times in a row. Alabama's good. Uh, they were number one in the SEC for in some categories, and number two in like defense, I think. We're number four in defense in the SEC. I was surprised. Um, and we're not last in the SEC anymore. I'm so proud. I think Georgia and Tennessee is now behind us. But Cook was our main, or no, yeah. Yeah, I think, pretty sure. Was Cooker? Yeah, Cook had 18 points and five rebounds. So he's our top guy. And behind him was, uh, I think, Elling Harris. He shot five of 11. 12 points, Ellington had 12, so we had three players in double digits. Uh, um, the bench was pretty good, we got six points out of the bench. Uh, I think Darren Horn got his boys to play this or today, he knew <laughs> they were going light to light a fire up underneath his ass if he didn't win this one. But Darren Horn's a good coach. I like him. I don't know why people want to fire him just so quickly. I mean, five years. We've never been good at basketball. After five years, you got to give him some time. And same like like with Spurrier. Change didn't happen immediately when Spurrier came. I mean, just give the coach time. But that's all I got for you guys. Uh, Carolina pulls it out 56-54 to over the Alabama Crimson Tide. Um, Haas, uh, great crow, um, it's good talking to you, uh, looking forward to the next time Alabama plays South Carolina, either in basketball, baseball, or football, hopefully it could be the same turnout as it was here, alright guys, well, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you, peace.